Today I'm going to show you how to work this modified floret stitch. This is a little variation off of the traditional floret stitch. But I think it creates a very lovely texture with some raised rows and a little tiny, little tiny peaks where you can kind of see through. But for my sample today, I'm beginning with worsted weight yarn and a foundation row of 12 single crochets. I'll drop a link below on how to work a foundation single crochet. I am using a crochet hook eye for a 5.5 millimeter. To begin, you're going to turn and chain one and pull that chain up to the height of a double crochet. Your turning chain is not gonna count as a stitch, but you will work into it. So you're going to yarn over, double crochet in that first stitch. and then slip stitch into the next stitch. Work these slip stitches a little bit loose. You don't want them too tight because you will work into them in the next row. Double crochet in the next stitch, and slip stitch in the next. You're gonna repeat this all the way across the row, working double crochet in next stitch, and then a slip stitch in the next. Just as a reminder, double crochet is yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and a slip stitch, you're gonna insert your hook, pull up a loop, and pull it through the current loop on your hook. Again, double crochet, slip stitch, double crochet, and a slip stitch in the last stitch of the row. So you've completed row two, this is the back side, and when you turn, you can see that you've kind of created this raised ridge a little bit. This is what you're seeing right here in the stitches. For row three, this is the right side of your work. You're going to chain one and pull it up to the height of a double crochet. Now you're gonna double crochet in that first stitch of the base of your turning chain. So grab that, Oop, there we go, and double crochet in that. And this is where it's been modified. In a traditional floret stitch, you're gonna single or double crochet in each stitch going across. I like the looks of creating a little bit more texture, a little more variety in my stitches. So I'm gonna skip this next stitch, which is the top of your double crochet, and I'm gonna work two double crochets in the top of the next stitch, which is your slip stitch. So skip the next stitch, and then work two double crochets in the top of the next stitch. Again, this just kind of creates a little more uh, variety, a little more interest in your stitches. So skip the next stitch and then two double crochets in the next stitch. So it's kind of like in the valley of your stitches. You'll see that row two created these little bumps where it comes up and then down, up and then down and your slip stitch is down here, and that's where you're gonna cr crochet those two double crochets. So skip your next stitch, and two double crochets in the next stitch. One, and two. Skip the next one, two double crochets in the next stitch. Working all the way across the row. Skip the next stitch, two double crochets in the next stitch. All right, then there's just one left. So you're gonna skip this next stitch and you're actually gonna drop down. This is your turning chain. You're going to work a double crochet into that turning chain. And that just kind of helps keep your stitch count correct, but doesn't extend the length of your piece. So as you can see, it almost creates, when I pull it apart, these little Vs by working the two double crochets in the same stitch. Now you're gonna repeat row two. So you're gonna chain one, you're gonna turn, you're gonna pull this up to the height of a double crochet and double crochet in that very first stitch. And then slip stitch in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next and slip stitch in the next. Repeat this pattern all the way across your row working a double crochet and a slip stitch 
double crochet slip stitch. Just a couple more, double crochet, and then a slip stitch in your turning chain there. Chain one, pull up to the height of a double crochet and begin with a double crochet in the base of that stitch right there. And then slip, oh, whoops, sorry, we're on the row three repeat. You're gonna skip the next stitch, and then two double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, skip one, and then work two in the next stitch over. One, two, skip one, two double crochets in the next stitch, Skip one, two double crochets in the next stitch. Skip one, two double crochets in the next stitch. And then again, skip the next stitch, but work a double crochet in that turning chain. Each row should end with the same number of stitches you started with, so 12 stitches. So there you can kind of see the variation that you're creating by repeating rows two and three over and over. And you're just gonna to continue to repeat that to create this lovely textured piece right here. So I hope you enjoyed that stitch and have fun crocheting it.